Hello friends, it's Allison Vanderslice and I'm so excited because I just received my first paper pumpkin box in the mail from Stampin' Up. This is my Christmas present from my parents and they got me a year subscription so I'm excited to unbox them with you and then show you what we're able to make with them. So I hope you enjoy. I had to keep it in the packaging because I was like, I know I'm gonna try to open this if I don't keep it in the packaging. And I wanted to do it on camera with you all. Now I did pull something up. January 2022 and it's called Kisses and Hugs. I'm so excited. Okay. So it looks like we have uh, an acrylic stamping block. We have a Stampin' Spot, which is a stamp cube. This one is a gray granite, which is going to be nice because I've been using a lot of gray recently. I wonder if this one's lighter or darker than what I have. I think it's going to be lighter based off of this swatch right here. And we have our stamps. Looks like we got heart, maybe the filler. X's and O's, love you, for you, friends, uh, thoughts here, to add a little bit more excitement and texture to your cards, maybe some backgrounds. I've been looking into maybe getting some stuff like this because I did like how I added snowflakes to one or sparkles to one card that I made and I was looking into these so I'm excited to have that in my stash now. This one says scenting you love and then more. Here's a little welcome. Thanks for choosing paper pumpkin. I really like this blue tissue paper. Actually, I think I'm just going to, since it's easier to do tissue paper outside of the box. Okay. Oh! I could have kept it in, to be honest. Now that I'm looking at it, okay. <laughs> I do like how it's all wrapped because it keeps it contained. Okay. Instructions. And I Again, it's Kisses and Hugs, January 2022. So it looks like we're going to be able to make these fun cards. Oh, that's nifty. I wonder if I'll be able to do that on my own. Try to recreate it. I don't normally open things like this, so I don't know why I decided to start doing stuff like this today. Did I just get really dark up there, or was that just me? So it looks like we have some iridescent sequins, which are already have adhesive on the back, will, will be nice to use because I've been struggling with that. We have their foam squares. I think they're called Stampin' Dimensionals. I think I would watch enough of these 
stamping up people that I would know what things are called by now. <laughs> we have envelopes, which with a fun gold foiled XO inside of it. Oh, that's cute. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. So, ten envelopes. And then here are the fun cards. So we have a cream one. Oh, I like how they have different patterns. So we have the polka dot, the stripe, and then the X and the O. Based on the envelopes, you would think that there's five of these. One, two, three, four, five. So five cream. And then we have a fun pink with the big XO and then horizontal. It's gonna be cute. And again, probably five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Then it looks like we have some punch outs that we can use. We have doubles, actually four of those. Five of those. And then one, two, three, four, five. Gold foil with a white and heart shaped. We have heart vellum pieces. Four, five. And we have these little punch outs. They kind of look like stamps to me a little bit. And then, oh, what I've been looking forward to, I think these are their glue dots. And I've been eager to try them with ribbon attachments and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll have a little bit of extra of these so I can try them on other projects. Oh, I'm glad that I actually opened that up because I was about to just throw it all away. Okay, so it looks like it has their instructions step by step on what you're going to do. So I started with the pink one. That's fun. I also like how they included a ruler in there. That's nifty. And then on the back, it tells you what else you can do with the card. I'm um, sorry, the other pieces and the stamps, which I think is nifty. I was getting concerns about making Valentine's Day cards because it's getting kind of close. So I'm excited that we have 10 of these because that will make the process a little bit easier on my end to make sure I can produce enough for my family and friends this year. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started with making that first card.
There we go, we have our card set. This made 10 cards. 
from the January 2022 Paper Pumpkin set. And this was called Kisses and Hugs. I really liked how these turned out and I'm excited that I made all 10 of them just as they are. I did change it up, um, just using less sequins on some of them and the arrows facing different ways. And of course with the envelopes as we just did. We just put the heart at the bottom instead of the XO. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making these and creating them and unboxing with you. I haven't done an unboxing before, so that was a learning experience for me and I hope to get better at it. And I really enjoyed creating these cards for you and I hope you enjoyed watching them and learning and creating with me. If you really liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content and wanna see more of it, feel free to subscribe and that will get sent to you. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.